Okay, this, it started off as a little white city golf, which I bought from a friend of mine. Um, it was laying in the back of his uh, garden, uh, full of grass growing through it. Um, so we brought it back to the workshop and uh, we took out the engine because the deal was he kept the old engine. And then um, I decided, I've always had the idea of getting more power out of a golf. So the only way of doing it is putting two engines, you get double the power and reliability. So uh, we um, cut the back of the vehicle out and then I started fitting in the, rear, the front suspension of a golf in the rear. And uh, then it just started carrying on from there. Um, I started with two 16 valve engines as a base because um, they are reliable and they make decent power. Um, we've got the engines fitted, we've got everything aligned in that and then the car went off to panel shop and uh, a friend of mine um, owns a paint company and he said to me he's got this awesome color uh, which actually comes from a court helicopter for, for underneath and um, he sponsored me the paint so that they resprayed the whole vehicle. Um, it's, it's actually luminous orange and um, then the vehicle came back and we started the assembly. Uh, the, the total assembly took only three and a half months to finish the car from start to finish because we actually built it for this serious hill climb so we didn't have much time and it actually rolled off on this Friday before the hill climb we actually drove the car for the first time. The idea of the car basically came from um, you know a golf engine and gearbox are good for like 300, 350 kilowatts and they become unreliable and I wanted more power and traction so the only way of doing it is to put two engines in a golf and I actually saw it in a magazine overseas which they have done already so that's where I actually got the idea from. But I mean, there was no real plans for the car. I just worked it out day by day and got the thing together. Okay, at the moment, the, the vehicle's running two two liter 16 valve Golf engines. Um, the only fancy part in the whole engine is the pistons, which are Yseco. Um, otherwise, they're totally standard. Uh, we're running one and a half bar boost. Um, they're making 310 kilowatts. Um, there is nitrous as well, which is another 50 kilowatts. Um, otherwise, the motors are there's not much done to them. Uh, they've been totally reliable for the last two and a half years. We've had no breakages on the vehicle. The engines run totally separate. The ignition switch actually gives power to either the front or the rear engine. They all start on their own. They've got their own starter buttons. And then everything I like on the front, and it'll have just the front rev counter with all the front gauges will work. And then the gear lever is also like that. If you want to run just the front engine or just the rear, it's just a matter of unclipping the gear lever and then you can run either front or rear. So everything is totally, totally separate. Uh, gearboxes are also VR6 golf gearboxes, just with limit slip diffs to stop uh, wheel spin, uh, front and rear. Um, then um, vehicle the brakes are AP in the front, it's for the stopping power. It's got special touring car brake pads to help it stop. Um, at the back we are running um, Audi TT brakes, which is enough for the rear of the vehicle because it's not as heavy as the front. And um, drive shafts and that are all standard still. Um, and then interior wise, we're running two race line bucket seats. The gear lever is specially made, it's actually a golf rally gear lever, which is designed overseas for the rally golfs, which I've actually customized to run both the gearboxes. And um, then otherwise, it's got video gauges right through. And um, oh. And then suspension-wise, we're running um, fully adjustable uh, uh, Bullstein uh, suspension. It's got shocks in the front and you can ride out adjustment and all that stuff. It's got, it's got 50 kilowatts of nitrous, uh, both engines, that's 100 in total. Um, our best time so far is a 10.5 in Cape Town. And we did 274 on uh, 800 meter at 1.3 bar, but we never actually got a chance to run it at, at, at a higher boost at 1.5. Look, we actually built the car originally for the Sirius Hill Club. Um, it's actually never designed as a drag vehicle. Um, it's become a drag vehicle, but um, it's not really designed. We still run road tires and everything, and it's still doing 10 second quarter mile, which is quite good. If the car was actually, if we actually sat down and sorted the vehicle out for drags, it would be in the nine seconds. But we actually, you know, we don't really want it as a drag vehicle, but we are using it as at the moment. I've got to thank the following people. Um, it's engine uh, for the fuels on the vehicle, um, Cape motor repairs for the spray work and the body. Um, Barons N1 City for all the spare parts they supplied on the vehicle. Um, we'd also like to sp uh, help, uh, thank Paris Space. Um, they helped us with, a lot, uh, with the engine and a lot of parts for the vehicle. Uh, Powerflow exhausts did the full exhaust systems on the vehicle. And then uh, World of Labels, H2O, and um, Andres Rubber, and uh, Harper Aluminium Guttering for all the aluminium work on the vehicle. And then also Parolec and Rinko Engineering for all the st stuff that they've done on the vehicle. And then I'd also like to thank Yokohama and TSW for the rims and tires that they supply on the vehicle.